there he is, Stephen Robert Irwin, the host of The Crocodile Hunter, The Crocodile Hunter Diaries, The Croc Files, co-owner of the Australia Zoo. This is an amazing, interesting guy. This is the Crocodile Hunter board game. Uh, we're going to take it out. It's got a lot of pieces. I got a steal on this. Look at that price. I picked this up at a garage sale. Uh, he was still around at that time. Sadly, he died, as you guys I'm sure know, from a stingray barb to the heart. Australian crocodile hunter Steve Irwin has died during a diving expedition near Port Douglas in Australia. Well, it's reported the environmentalist was killed after being stabbed by a stingray barb in the chest. He said it was just about the most unthinkable thing that is like no one gets killed by stingrays. And here this guy who had been in the water with crocodiles all the time. You can see him there feeding the crocodile. You probably remember the controversy when he was holding baby Bob, who's now a grown-up. He's holding baby Bob, and he was out there feeding the crocodiles. And the croc hunter one-ups Michael Jackson and the baby on the balcony. See the video that's getting him in hot water with fans and foes alone. And Steve was holding him and was feeding Murray, who was a 12-foot-long crocodile. And Steve said he had it under control. Steve had been working around crocodiles since he was a baby and said it wasn't any different than if he was teaching his son how to swim, which is obviously also dangerous. But the government said, hey, we're going to... We're going to change the rules so that children aren't allowed that close in those protected areas ever again. This looks like a fun game. Let's pop it open and see what's inside of it. Frank's red hot buffalo sauce. We're getting close. Shh. The buffalo chicken's right over there. It says here, high jumping escape the croc fun starring Agro, the motorized croc. Now, Agro was one of the real crocs. So if you watch Steve's show, that was a crocodile that lived at the Australia Zoo. Just imagine I take one extra step. Hello, Agro. How are you, mate? Still alive from what I understand. All right, here's our game board. So we've got a lot of little pieces I'm going to have to set up on it. We've got Agro the crocodile here. Agro takes two AA batteries. So he's got a little button here on the top. Now you can press it and he won't do anything until he's on a surface. Then he'll start moving around. Also have some figures. There's Steve Irwin. All right, so we've got the game board set up. You've got your figures and they have a matching base for each one. There's different safe spots around the board. So these barrels are safe spots and this position over here is a safe spot. Now Agro, when he starts moving, he'll run around the board and if he hits you, if you're unprotected like this guy is here, he'll hit you and you go flat. See? And he hits you. Now let's watch. He can't hit this one because it's in the barrel. So even if he were to hit here, it wouldn't work. So the youngest player goes first. You would line your four figures. If you were doing a four player game, they'd all be lined up in this safe area. And then the object would be to move around the board without getting popped off and end up back here. On your turn, you would take a card. Whoa, check this out. Move five spaces ahead. So if we were here, we would go one, two, three, four, five. Aggro can't get us. Woohoo! Move ahead six spaces. Now here's an interesting one. Danger, danger, danger. Croc bite. Mother crocodiles are so protective, they will sometimes hold their babies inside their mouth. So if you pull one of these danger, danger, danger cards, it gives you a croc fact on the bottom, but that is when you will start aggro. And so he'll move around for five seconds. If he bumps you, you then have to move back to the nearest safe spot. So that would be here, here. There's one down here one over here and then here. So if you were if you were anywhere up to here, you'd have to move right back to start. And then after that, you'd only have to move back that far. Now the safe spots include this barrel, a tree stump. Over here, you've got a pile of rocks. And then here you've got a lawnmower. Whoa, 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 whoa. You know, people ask me, how come my Toyotas can take so much of a beating and just keep bouncing back? I'll let you know a little secret. I only ever have them serviced by Toyota. They're the dead set experts. And they keep them running good as gold year after year. All I do is give them a wash every now and then. You've just got to keep the feeling. 
cool game. Looks like fun. It's got one of these stressful items. I, I, I think of this with some games. Perfection's another one where it's got a timed thing. And everything pops up at you. This, you know, when he starts moving, that's got to be terrifying when you're, when you're on that board, especially when you get close to the end. Danger, danger, danger. Freshwater crocs are known as freshies. Look at that. It says, is it hot in here? It says the temperature of a crocodile's nest determines whether it's going to be baby girls or baby boys. Look at that picture. It says accuracy and timing are important to catch crocodiles. My goodness, I'm sure they are. I have one of these. I got this as a gift. And just look at those teeth. This one's a python. And as you see, he won't bite because he can't eat me and he doesn't feel scared. Now that's a python, but it's very difficult in from a dip. You might have to cut him biting my neck. What do you do? Um, well, if I watch the telly. Oh, it's going to let go, yeah. Perfect. Does that hurt? No. Sorry about that. After his death in 2006, they named a species of snail after Steve Irwin. It's called Crikey Steve Irwin. They also named an asteroid after him. It's named 57567 Crikey, which I think is also a phone number you can dial to listen to Paul Hogan talk. G'day. Now, it's come to my attention that some Americans still don't know where Australia is. Well, I'll tell you exactly where it is. Australia is where the sun shines on thousands of miles of the world's great beaches. It's where you can go bush and get away from it all. We'll just stay in town and get amongst it all. I like this instruction booklet. I think it's very nice, but I always say instructions should be right here because then you can't lose them. They're right there on the inside of the box. I do love this box art. Welcome to the Australia Zoo, home of Steve and Terry Irwin and Argo the Crocodile. This one's in midair. It's funny seeing him in different colors, you know, different color clothing. I remember seeing him on the wiggle. He did a lot of talk show appearances. Great, I always get the snake. You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, it's wrapping around my rib cage. Yeah, well these, oh God! <laughs> I know his son does a lot of them now. Good, buddy. Oh, I am Butte Bonza. Thank you. How are you? Butte Bonza just means amazing. Butte Bonza. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. me too. Yeah, me too. Well done. By the way, if you enjoy these videos, go ahead and be like the Fonz and give this video a thumbs up and come back every day because I do a video every day at two o'clock. I am always impressed by people that are not scared by these scary big animals. There was a car dealer out in California named Cal Worthington. And at one point, a competitor had done an ad where he was like, I'm here with my dog Rover, and you know, I'm a down to earth person, you should buy from me. And so the next day, Cal Worthington put together an ad that had him with a gorilla. And they said, it's Cal Worthington and his dog Spot. And then he's like, this is my dog Spot. And it was a gorilla. And people loved it. So then he did more and more crazy commercials. He had tigers. He had lions. He had an elephant in his commercials. And then he became such a part of pop culture that Ted Danson played him in a movie. And I mean, there's some crazy stories about him. I'm going to put that video up on this side of the screen. So if you want to learn about Cal Worthington, I suggest you go that way. Otherwise, YouTube says this is best for you. I'm going to come back here tomorrow at 2 o'clock, and I'll see you then. Crikey!